In 2009, I had a choice to make. People were telling me to invest in Toronto condos, but at the time, I was thinking about going to Phoenix, Arizona to buy my first U.S. property. That didn't make sense to me because the prices were $500 a square foot with $0 per month in cash flow. Ontario is also not landlord friendly, so if I made a mistake with a tenant, I would be stuck for a long time. On the other hand, Phoenix condos, two bedroom, two bath condos, were selling for $50 a square foot, or about 30 grand. They were in nice areas, near jobs, around golf courses, everywhere. Back then, the Canadian dollar was the same as the American dollar, so you could buy a $35,000 condo, rent it for $950 a month, and keep $7,000 a year cash flow. American. That's a 20% operating margin in a landlord-friendly location. And there were more than just condos for sale. This detached home was selling for a little over $50,000 or $40 a square foot. I picked that one up too. So with half a million dollars back then, you would buy one Toronto condo. But if you had half a million dollars in Phoenix, you would buy 10 detached homes. Today, that Toronto condo that sold for $500 a square foot would, if you're lucky, get $1,000 a square foot. Still no cash flow. And Ontario's not landlord friendly. You get a bad tenant, you're dead. The Phoenix properties would go from 50,000 to 340 American. That's 450,000 Canadian today. And the rent is 1,900 or 2,500 Canadian per month. So in Canadian terms, you would have $4.5 million in US property throwing off $25,000 a month. Or one Toronto condo, $1,000 a square foot with no cash flow. Good luck, take care.